Hey guys, it's Tape the Grape, and it's part two. We're actually going to Oglesby, Illinois at, for, at Starved Rock. Um, right now I'm just packing the, uh, the sandwiches and waters we're going to take, and I'll show you. So of course, we'll need an ice pack. Unfortunately, that's the only one we have, but hopefully it'll be good enough. Then we got some water bottles. I can only fit two in here for now because we got to make sure we have room for the sandwiches. But we'll bring plenty of water, that's for sure. If it ends up being hot out of the cooler, oh well. And of course, we got sandwiches in these nifty resealable wannabe Ziploc bags. Pretty neat though. Now that's the cooler. Oh yeah. And so, since we've been having a problem with the hood not latching properly, well, technically, the problem we've had is it's not latching, not that we've already experienced it popping open while driving, but we want to prevent that, so I've got some, some odd gauge wire, I don't know. I'm going to unwind some, cut a piece off, and try and wrap the hood to the, uh, the fender or the, the grill or something better than what it is so it doesn't fly open while we're on the freeway. So let me cut a piece. i got to get in the garage, and I'll show you. So I'm thinking better to be too long than too short, so I'm going to cut pretty decent length. It's pretty thin, so it is easy to cut, hopefully, with these. They seem pretty sharp and not worn out, so we'll, we'll try. And it's thin, like I said. Alright, there we go. Just like a guitar string. Slightly, this would be a, more like a bass string. But anyway, let's go attempt to go put it and wrap it some way on the hood latch or the, the hood latch attached to the hood and then somewhere on the I don't know we'll figure it out all right so I'm thinking I'm gonna need to pop the hood in order to do it because I just tried looking and trying to lift it up and I know in that video the part one I show it, it looks like it lifts up a lot while it does it it's nowhere near enough to stick my fingers in so I'm gonna pop the hood and attempt give me a second So what I'm thinking, I should have turned the camera on, but I'll show you. So as I said, what I'm thinking is uh, trying to put it, or loop it there. And potentially, since I've got so much length, maybe I even need to go cut a longer one. Loop it through here. I know this is plastic, but better than nothing, right? Um, at least it's a little bit more secure than just this, which of course you've seen it's like not really attached to anything except the transmission line. But let me let me try and attempt it. So I got my fiance here to help me. I just need you to hold the hood for me. Put it down a little bit like this, sweetheart. <laughs> so yeah, I'm thinking it was like, like I was telling the camera, the people on YouTube, I'm gonna loop it through this, attempt to. Make sure I'm, yeah, oh thank you. Make sure I'm of course gonna put it out of the way of the actual, uh, hang on. So what we're gonna have to do, Alex, is so I'm going to put it, put it more down. Wait, hold it right there. I need to pull it through more. Yeah, hang on, wait a second. Alright, let go of it real quick. Sorry, I just had to slam it all. So what we're doing is twisting this. And ideally, it does, I know you guys can't see it, so I'll just show you the aftermath. Give me a second. So what we were trying to do didn't work out, so we ended up actually taking that wire and the the mechanism that latches onto the hood, since it was too low down because it was rusted, we used wire to raise it up, tighten it as tight as we could. We were able to slam the hood closed and it latched, and it's still attached to the uh, the bar that goes over here, That's a, whatever it's called, uh, that the uh, radiator's attached to, so it's got some structural support. And well, if it flies open, it flies open, and I'll let you know about it. Well damn, my shirt's pretty dirty. But anyway, you might be wondering, well, this is a vacation. Looks like you're doing a bunch of stuff. Well, there's only one thing I really enjoy on a vacation. And that's a, a rip-off of a McDonald's sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit sandwich. Pretty good, though. But anyway, I'm telling my fiance, she, to fix that hood, she probably need to put hood pins in. Unless she wants to spend the money to get, you know, everything welded back. I don't know. A cheap option, as long as it still works. That's all that matters. But anyway... So now we're finally in the car and we're going to head out to uh, Starved Rock. Now we were supposed to leave at what, 8 o'clock or something? But it's what, like 9 something? We're only about an hour late, but we never um, chose a, a strict schedule for ourselves. But anyway, presumably I'll see you when we get there. Unless something happens, then I'll show you. But see you when we get there. 
All right, so I'm driving now, as you can see. As you can see. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so we're on our way now, and I'll see you when we get there. Bye. Well, we finally made it, and boy do I tell you, I really wish this car had working uh, cruise control, because my right leg is sore. Knee and the ankle. But anyway, the hood didn't fly open. It was bouncing up and down a little bit. It had a little bit of slack in those wires, but didn't fly open. That's all that matters. And I, I got up to 80. That was the highest I got up to. The car started making a really weird wub 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 sound. Not really like a tire sound. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a mechanic, so I don't know. Some weird sound, but anyway, I'll show you a couple sp spots in this park. I already have a dedicated uh, video to this place. I'm not going to make a full on, you know, park video on this, but I'll show you some cool stuff here and there. But oh yeah. So first off, here's the Illinois River. Very nice. But anyway, I'm carrying like a almost a 50 pound book bag and Alex just had to bring her stuffed animal named Roger. But anyway, figured I'd carry it now, that way she can carry it later so I can enjoy not having it later. But anyway. But as I said, the Illinois River. Of course, it's just a, a single part of a many, many mile long river, but still cool, a little beach over there too. Oh yeah. Of course we're in the gift shop now wasn't able to do it in that dedicated video to this place because it was closed at the time but got your basic stuff of course the memorabilia and whatnot i'm gonna try this i'm gonna turn this now until i get it oh boy let's see now let's look at it in light there we go. That's pretty neat. So I'm on top of Starve Rock right now. Funnily enough, the video I have de dedicated to this, I don't even go up here in the video. But you can see it here. Such a beautiful view. Oh yeah. The rolling hills in the background. All the further canyons and whatnot. <laughs> Nestled in between all those trees. And... But oh yeah. Let's go check over here real quick. Here's another view. You got one of these little things you could see. But oh yeah. Illinois River, like I said before. This is the other side of Starved Rock and I just had to show it because it's just such a beautiful view. Of course, as I say in all my videos, videos will never do it justice. Unlike in person, but of course, it's a rock and a cliff. But it's really beautiful. Just sitting here by this bridge on a bench, of course, taking a break, eating a granola bar. Oh, yeah. And here we've got Pontiac Canyon. One of the many canyons. I think there's, what, like 11 or 13 canyons in this whole park, maybe. I don't know for sure. Let's walk on the actual bridge and look. But we're not going to go to all of them today. <laughs> but you can see it's pretty neat. Oh, yeah. And this is a Wildcat Canyon, of course, the one I showed in the other video, but that was in um, fall. This is, of course, summer. Now there's actually water, and we'll go down and look at the waterfall shortly. Here's inside the canyon, of course, and we'll go take a look at the waterfall. Tiny little stream, but still pretty interesting. Now we're gonna go find something to eat and then go home. So now we're sitting in the canyon, enjoying sandwiches and chips, and then after this, we'll be home. Well, we made it back safe, and I'm at my, one of my favorite places, Dairy Fair, enjoying the food. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.